Brady drives on the paint. Deflection by Davis, and then he leaks out, takes the pass. James can't miss it. Curtis Williams with the rebound. The Cards with a chance again to tie or take the lead. Williams straight line drive to the basket, puts it up and in. And again, picked to finish fifth in the Southern Conference, but that was with 10 new players. Demetrius Davis, their only returning starter, as nice play out of the timeout. Curtis Williams in for the easy layup. That's a long story, Jody, but had Dewan Wheaton not sprained his ankle, they might have won the national championship. Three freshmen <laughs> in the lineup for Louisville. Curtis There's Williams. One of them. Curtis Williams. Really only had one good offensive possession, the possession where they got Huntley Hatfield on the post cup and he scored. Shot clock at two, and Williams is going to get the shot off, and the three is good. He's to get this lead to 17-11. You see it. Look. Seven on the shot clock. Tyler Johnson to Williams. That's a good look. And three, some good ball movement, and the second triple night for the freshman from Detroit. Two for three for, from three in the early going. Williams is a guy who got, and he gets some looks. Rand now has a baby brother. Williams to White. White will try the three, and he got it, and cards are back with him one. Clark the catch and shoot. He's got four. Well, sometimes, though, when you bring back starters, three starters from a team that won four games, that's not always a good one. So there's a reason you only won four games. Those guys were a big part of it. And now a chance to push. They want to fly down the court. All the way to the rim, it's Curtis Williams, an outstanding freshman. Pepperdine actually shoots it pretty well from out there, and so Louisville, not only have they done a nice job cutting down on dribble penetration, they've really limited the three. Had a career-high 25 points against UMBC in the season opener for Louisville, did James. Turnover Boy, force. that's really good defense. Here he is, showtime! have been very solid today. Here, Anderson gets inside. James comes to help. The ball's kicked out. Williams is ready for it, and James has already taken off. Five to shoot. Williams in a bit of a trap against Dillingham. Fall away. Got it. Yeah, you're going to have to have some of those hanging this game. Shepard's got a season-high, career-high 10 assists tonight. Turned over Clark. Trail shot for Williams. Comes on the line, just lack of awareness of where he was, Williams. That's one of the things for Virginia. They're going to have to have more guys that can make plays, especially without Reese Beekman having to create all the offense for the entire team. Williams silences the crowd. He's had a couple of air balls, and the fans have been letting him hear it. Seven of 19. This is their largest lead of the night so far. James, the extra pass to Williams. Previous three before tonight, he got a little sideways, but no trouble tonight with the 16 points in counting. Lefty layup by Curtis Williams. And so it's going to be important for guys like McNeely and Rody to be able to handle that pressure and still make shots. Boy, Williams has overcome his slow start. Now Pittsburgh shooting woes have led to the 0-3 starting ACC play. And how about Williams off the bench and into the scoring book? Diaz Graham gives it right back. Williams in the open court. Oh, nice. You <laughs> see Williams come there on the break and then throws around his back. Can the Cardinals find some consistent offense? James for three. Oh, look at three ball side pocket. You get a stop, you get out in transition. Now the length of this zone is really causing Louisville problems. Clark tries to create three on the shot clock. Williams fires and connects. He was telling us about three years ago. He was about 5'11. He's now 6'8. Here comes Clark. And the drop off is there. Getting the second half, they've given up nine points in defensive transition. Good job of getting the ball inside, coming out of the timeout. That's doing the hard things consistently. A little ball screen and watch. Great job, Huntley Hatfield. You can't give up second shots. You got to keep the game in front and get the shot you want. There you go. Huntley Hatfield strong inside. Really wanted to have long. They could live with long contested twos. Glenn, a leaping catch, surrounded by four defenders, and he scores anyway. Largest lead so far. NC State up 13. Kurt Williams responds. 
But the key was the first thing, he looks and sees how he's being played defensively. Williams, same spot, same result. Clark falling down to the corner for three. First of the day for James. And play offense like this, this could be a long night, not only for Louisville, but for anybody that Harvard the Eels play. Three ball by Williams is good. 23rd three of the year for Curtis Williams Jr. If we're playing golf, we'd have given him that one. <laughs> Williams. Nice jump shot for Curtis Williams. I would think that Tyler Hansbrough would be as successful as, with that as he was playing best. I think he'd be intense is what I think. <laughs> There's a foul line jumper by White. Five in a row by Trey White. And blew it all of a sudden. Well, he really helped the Tar Heels get going in the first half, yeah. knocking down four threes. Absolutely. And there's Curtis Williams, a triple out of the corner. Get him more comfortable a little bit with the basket, with his back to the basket, so they can use that five out lineup with the five shooters on the floor. Off the turnover, Williams off the Tyler Johnson feed, and he hits the three. And Kenny telling us before the game, if I had five or six yes. five games, wouldn't even really care about the positions, we would just go. Letting fly from the corner, and there's a three ball from Curtis Williams, the freshman. Subpar college basketball. And finally, a three-pointer drops for the Cardinals. And then go to Duke on March 2nd. So a couple of huge opportunities left on the Virginia schedule as Williams uh, waited a little bit too long before he caught fire from behind the arc. His goal was to try to stay between P.J. Hall and the basket, and he wasn't able to accomplish it that time. Williams, baseline, fall away two is good. And then this is just a very good, you know, the dribbles behind his back. The team's out of timeouts now. Six-point game. Here's Williams, Gerard there. Williams going to drive and feed Payne, lay up good by Clemson. You defend the three, you don't really worry about the two at this point in the game. He's the guy. He is the guy for the... Williams hit ahead, pop and finish. Having himself a go. Got a ball game here in the Yum Center. With Kenny Payne electing not to have a starting point guard in the lineup. Yeah, but he got Ty Lloyd Johnson in quickly. Williams. Fourth worst in the ACC. Corin splits, but an offensive rebound for Baba Miller. And then he turns it over. Curtis Williams will slow things down. Got to communicate in defense and transition. Get matched up if you're going to get into the zone. Locate shooters. And there's Williams right there. We cannot let him catch and shoot. Starling mishandled the pass, brings it back outside to Bell. Who has it poked away, take away by Louisville. Think about the passes Colquitt has made. I think the defensive transition, he got it. Pass. You show great discipline, by the way. Only half a roll. <laughs> you and me both. Rebound the basketball. Guard's got to come back in the zone and rebound the ball. That's the 12th second chance point for Louisville. Again, he has played an excellent floor game uh, for Louisville. That's in the flat three and a steal. Post already has four blocks. Three is good. Get to the free throw line. Make put the onus on the officials. Federico gets the offensive rebound. Henson has it stripped away on the way up. It doesn't matter. It's still the ACC. It's still high-level college basketball, and you still got an extremely young team. Jovanovic ahead of the pack lays it in. Syracuse playing more zone towards the end of the year. Quite frankly, Coach Autry said it has everything to do with depth. And. Seven-point game, three possessions. Williams in the corner, Mike James a three. Oh! Shot clock winding down on Tyler Johnson. Huntley Hatfield, the cut, gives it up for Williams. Knocks it down. Post all of a sudden, eight points with his four rebounds. Huntley Hatfield sets up Williams for three. <laughs> During that one. 
Here's Williams at the front, and Curtis Williams drops down the two. 1965 against Florida State. That was not a conference game for those of you just joining. And no, no uh, three-point line for those 49 either, WD. And, and Curtis Williams finds a three-point line. Hudley Hatfield playing with the four fouls. Eight to shoot for Williams. Skip for Clark and a three ball. Unbelievable. 33 for Clark.